Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So the holidays are officially upon us, which means it's time to decorate. So for today's video, I'm taking you guys along with me and sharing how I decorated my house for the holidays. So let's jump right in. Just want to thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Give us a big thumbs up on this video and don't forget to say hi in the comments or let us know how you're decorating for the holidays. And with that, let's get to decorating. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a before I had taken all the fall decor down and literally left just a blank slate. I wanted pretty much nothing um, and our living room does look very very light and bright so it's kind of a blank canvas which is what I really like to start with. This is what we transformed it into. I think it looks so beautiful and it's very minimal which is my style. I don't like a lot of stuff um, but I like it to feel very elegant and holiday like so I start by taking an inventory of everything that I have which really isn't very much because I like to keep things very minimal but for what I do have little helper there but for what I do have um, I always like to start with the tree and we have to rearrange our furniture a little bit usually we have like the little love seat right there um, but I really like the Christmas tree in the window. It just looks so pretty at night and I love like driving home and seeing the Christmas tree lit up and stuff in the window. So I, we have put it there. This is our second year in this house and it looked so pretty last year. So we're doing it, it again this year there. And I didn't put that tree together correctly the first time. So the second time was the charm. And just to let you guys know, I will be linking everything that I can down below um, for you guys as much as I can. If I can't find it, that's usually why I won't, but um, I will link as much as I can in the description box. So this Christmas tree, this is our third year with this tree and it has been so good. It is good quality. It's easy to set up. Um, the lights are really pretty. They have a bunch of different options with white warm white and the twinkling and the color there's a lot of different options and it always does really well for us I like to start off with just kind of a white base on the Christmas tree the last two years I think I've done a very similar tree um, these are just a set from Target that I picked up a couple years ago and I will link those if I can um, but yes, very simple. They're kind of a pearly white. And then I like to add in a little bit of rustic in there. I like more of a modern rustic feel. Um, and then I found these bells, if you remember from my recent shop with me, these bells were so cute. I could not pass them up. So I got three strands of those, which I probably could have used one more, but and then these black, they're kind of a darker gray slash black. Um, these are from Target. I also shared these on my recent shop with me. They do have some little wording on the back. However, I just flipped them over this year because I just wanted them um, very muted and not a lot going on. So I also found this material at Hobby Lobby and this is suede. So they have like remnant pieces of suede and this came in a pack of three with like three different colors. So I just cut it into strips and then I wanted to use it kind of like a ribbon and kind of run it through the tree uh, like a ribbon would be. However, this suede is so pretty. It just feels so like luxurious and elegant and it's so soft. So. This was one of my favorite elements in that tree because it just really added like a lot of movement and texture and I just thought it was a really, really pretty natural element. I definitely recommend browsing the fabric section at your local craft store. There is so many different options and so many things that you can pull into your tree other than just ribbon. It's really that it's endless. There's so many different things that you could do. So every year I try and pick somewhat of a theme or stay in the ballpark of a theme. I wanted to try a lot of um, green this year. I really love that deep 
like forest green that you've been seeing a lot lately. I always love black. I tend to gravitate towards black at Christmas time. Um, this is the tree collar that we used and we've used this for two years now. It's from the Hearth and Hand Magnolia and I will link that below as well. But yes, I tried to do a lot of black and white and then incorporate a lot of that deep green color, which I think is so, so pretty. And with that deep forest green, I thought it would just be really fun to incorporate a lot of those natural elements that you would see in a forest. So like pine cones and that very woodsy forest type feel. So if you guys, did see our last tree branch DIY. That kind of set the tone for that forest type feeling that I wanted in this living room. In a very inexpensive way, I like to bring new things into my home is by using pillow covers instead of getting all new pillows. These pillow covers are all from Amazon. The Buffalo check, the velvet, and even this black and white one that had a little bit of raspberry smoothie on it. Thanks to my little two-year-old. Um, I found all of these on Amazon. This was another one of my finds from my recent shop with me, this throw from Target, this deep green color. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. So I had to take that home with me and it's so cozy too. The kids love it and everybody's fighting over it already. It's, it's a really warm blanket, um, but it adds that perfect green touch to our decor. So under our entry table, I am using this cognac brown pillow. This was actually from our fall video and I just loved the brown. It really warmed up all of that black. So I think that is a little troll under the table too. These gingham or buffalo check uh, pillow covers are a favorite of mine. I actually ordered another pack this year because I just love that rustic feel, but I love the black and the gray. I feel like it's a modern take on a rustic favorite. So I actually DIY'd this little centerpiece. And if you guys want to see that, stick around, make sure you're subscribed because I'm gonna show you how I did this. I actually made this out of like an old garland that I had laying around, but it turned out so, so cute. This was one of the pots that I found on my shop with me, and I love this pot because I can use it year round. So once the holidays are over, I can put something else in it and it blends in so nicely. Another thing I like to update around the holidays is like artwork or photos and things like that. So if you guys remember, I picked this frame up from a thrift store in one of my antique shop with me's and I DIY'd this project. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this as well. So make sure you're subscribed for that video. But I really did make this. I thought it was so pretty and it added that perfect like woodsy touch that I wanted. I feel like it's just so gorgeous, very natural. It's exactly what I was going for. And that frame is everything. I fell in love with that frame at the thrift store and I'm so glad that I found a use for it. And another quick way to bring in that foresty or woodsy type feel always is if you have a fireplace, bring in your wood. It just adds that perfect touch. This is birch wood. I found this from Lowe's. This is where we get all of our wood usually. Um, and it's just so pretty. And then we throw it in there for our fires. So it's just really pretty. I just, I don't know, I just love it. And if you've been here for a while or if you're new, just know I am always foraging for like branches and anything that I can put in the house that just looks pretty and makes a statement. This time of year, I really like to use all the, the different pines. Um, we have a pine tree in front of our house and it is perfect because we have these perfect pine branches that you can literally put them anywhere. So I just threw together this little centerpiece and that pot is from Walmart. I will link that below as well. But I just threw all of the branches in there, so natural and pretty. And of course they're not gonna last until Christmas, but I can just go cut more and throw them in there. And the fun thing about this is there's so much of it, I can literally put it anywhere. So 
Um, I did find some other uses for our pine branches as well, but you guys, the smell on these as well, mm, it will bring that natural pine smell into your house. It is one of my favorite things to bring into a house. If you don't have a pine tree near you, call your neighbors, get on Facebook. Usually there are, somebody's got a pine tree somewhere that they're everywhere and you can use them anywhere and what's better than free? So I'm keeping it very simple this year on our coffee table. I do have two little guys that love to get into my decor. So we keep it very simple around here. Um, but yeah, I just like a stack of books and a candle on there. I did find this little wooden rustic dough bowl. I thought it was so pretty at Tuesday morning and I thought it would be really neat with some greenery in there. I love the contrast with the dark and the green. That is just my favorite thing this year. And so, I mean, aside from throwing our remotes in there, we could also put some like pretty holiday bells or something like that. So I actually just DIY'd these bells. I found these little vintage looking bells on Amazon and they came in a pack of 12, I believe. Um, for about $12 and I had so much fun putting these together. You can literally just make them, put them on some twine and put them all over your house. So I thought they were really pretty and they fit perfect in there. Another thing that I can't live without around the holidays or really any time of year are my candles. I am obsessed with any type of candle. So for the dining room table centerpiece, I found this huge tray. Um, I believe it was in a fall shop with me and we did pumpkins in it for the fall. Well, now we are doing lots of greenery and pine cones. So I picked this sprig of greenery up. It's like a cypress faux cypress. Um, it's a very, very good quality though, which is what I love. It doesn't look too fake, but it just looks pretty natural and it has like the wire. So it bends really well. Well, you can take these apart and they usually either pull apart or you can use wire cutters, but I am just taking that apart. And then I'm going to put the greenery in the tray, just in the corners a little bit to give it a little bit of color. Um, underneath these pine cones. So in the center of this centerpiece, I'm gonna do candles, and these are actually uh, candle lids, but I thought I didn't need them anymore, and I thought they were perfect. They had that little woodsy type feel, so they'd kind of blend in underneath. But I found these candles, and these are flameless candles, so they are not real. However, they are wax on the outside, so they feel real, and they look really pretty. They have that little, a uh, flame that kind of moves around and gives that flame illusion. But these are really good quality, you guys. Um, I found these on Amazon and they were about $12 for three. And then they have a set of like six and nine. So I'm gonna set these on those little candle lids and give them some height. Now I picked up a bag of pine cones from Hobby Lobby. I really like like the very natural pine cones and you can bring those in if you have pine cones around your house and you can actually bake the bugs out. Yes, you can put them um, in your oven and make sure that there are no bugs if you bring them in from outside. But these are so fun because these came from a little vacation spot that my family and I love to go to. This is my third year using these and they are so pretty and they hold so many memories. So I just make sure that I tuck them away every year and keep them nice and protected so that I can use them year after year. So I am just layering in all of those different pine cones and I didn't want it too high. I just kind of wanted to cover that tray a little bit. One of my favorite things that I found this year were these little faux uh, deer antlers. I found those at Michael's and they are very inexpensive and they are perfect for this little centerpiece. I added two right in the corners and I just love that little rustic touch that they give.
and another fun way to bring in that pine greenery that I found on our pine tree I just added some underneath this tray um, the wood on wood was really bothering me so I felt like I needed to kind of break up all of that uh, wood on wood so the greenery was the perfect way and I know it won't last forever but I can just go pick more when I want um, and it was a perfect way to break up all of that wood tone. I don't do a ton of decorating all throughout the house for the holidays, but I did find these little holiday towels at Hobby Lobby and they were half off and they have the pretty little houndstooth um, pattern and I thought they were really, really fun to kind of tie in all of that greenery and bring it into the kitchen a little bit. So I had to pick those up and yeah, just a simple way to bring that green into the kitchen. Of course I have my candle up here. I usually have some type of candle up here. Um, this is one that I found at TJ Maxx and it has that pretty green color again. And then I threw some pine on that little pedestal. I love sharing ideas with you guys and giving you kind of a fresh take and a budget friendly way to bring the holidays into your home. So I hope you guys found some inspiration from this video. We are so excited that the holidays are here, especially after 2020. Um, this is really something that we're looking forward to. So I hope that you guys have the best holiday and spend so much time with all of your loved ones and doing things that you enjoy and that's going to wrap up this video so thank you guys so much for being here we're so glad that you're here and we're excited for the rest of this holiday series and we'll hope that you join us by subscribing give us a thumbs up and don't forget to say hi in the comments below we'd love to hear from you guys thank you so much again for watching take care see you guys next time